What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell, we're going to be talking about The Biggest Loser again on the channel. Now, as you guys have seen, I have not made a video about The Biggest Loser in the past few weeks. One, because I have been traveling a lot, so I haven't been able to really keep up to date. I was just able to catch up uh, recently, but also like, I know that there wasn't that much for me to say other than what I've already said. So like I said in the beginning, I didn't wanna keep making videos saying the same exact things, but there was a, a couple things in this week's episode that I thought was worth bringing up. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I do wanna say the network that plays The Biggest Loser has been very copyright happy, so I can't really use clips. Um, I'm going to try to record some stuff with my iPhone from my laptop and put it in here. Um, but that's why it's kinda janky because they are being very strict with their copyright. Now with The Biggest Loser, I do think that there are a lot of good things and there are also a lot of bad things. So this is not at all going to be me just hating on the show just to be me and just to say all the things that I hate about it. There are some things that I do appreciate that the show does, and some of them are things the show does, and I don't think they even really realize that they're doing it. Um, so this is, I'm gonna be as balanced as I possibly can be here. So to start the episode off, they kind of have a team meeting with Erica and her team, the red team, and one of the girls is very distraught at the amount of weight that she had lost the previous week, which was four pounds. Now she was really upset because she felt like she worked really hard and she feels like that number does doesn't represent the work that she put in. Now, obviously I think that most people that have lost weight can see how that would might be a problem because four weeks, four, four pounds in one week is actually quite significant, especially, you know, they've been doing this for a few weeks now, so it's not like it's all gonna be water weight, right? So not being happy with that amount of weight loss, obviously I get that it's a, 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 it's a show, you know, these people are trying to win this money, but the fact that someone would be upset with the fact that they lost four pounds in a week, obviously I think that that's a red flag. And then Erica goes on to say that we need to basically keep the body guessing and obviously the things that we're doing now, we need to change things up because the body gets used to certain things. <laughs> now, I mean, I, I guess I kind of agree with that, but like, Honestly, like you, I've, I do the same workouts over and over and over again. And I don't, I don't think that it's like, we need to do different workouts. Like it might be just, okay, we need to focus on increasing activity or decreasing calories. And I think that it would be important to explain that to, you know, the people that are on the show, but then to the people that are watching, like if things are stalling, there's usually a reason. But I mean, even saying that I feel weird because I know the people on these shows are probably severely under eating calories. I mean, they probably they definitely are if they're losing this significant amount of weight in such a short amount of time. And so like the the fact that this person is upset that they lost four pounds and then their coach is also saying, yeah, we definitely need to kick it, kick it into high gear. All it is doing is reinforcing the fact that this person needs to be losing weight faster. And yes, maybe they do need to be losing weight for the show, right, if they want to win, but we should be very, very careful with the way that we're speaking about these things because the people that are watching are gonna see, oh, four pounds in a week is too slow and they're only losing one pound in a week, right? So I just, that's one of my biggest criticisms of the show is they don't acknowledge the person that's watching the show enough and they don't realize the damage they could be doing to that person's like mental state if they are also trying to lose weight and they're very happy about losing three, two pounds in a week and they see this person that's lost four pounds that's now mad and upset about that happening. Now they did talk about nutrition for a little bit in this episode so I'm always going to be happy to hear that, to see that. Uh, Erica was kind of talking about uh, nutrition after workouts and making sure that you're having um, some sort of food after a workout. I wanna make sure you guys understand what to eat when we're not here after your workout. A lot of people don't realize to build your muscles, you need to eat. You've got about a 60 minute window where after your workout, your body just soaks up everything that you're eating because it needs to replenish your muscles. So for me personally, in my gym bag, I will always have a piece of fruit. I will always have a rice cake and I'm always eating it as soon as I walk out that gym door. Again, I think that it's good that they're talking about that. Is that something that is necessary to be focused on? I don't think so. I think that there's more better things that could be talked about when it comes to nutrition. Um, but I am glad that it is being talked about a little bit. Again, over the whole runtime of the show though, I mean, it was about 30 seconds of this episode. Now we need to talk about the challenge 
this week. This blew my mind. Like, I was very surprised. I honestly was surprised that they, like... <laughs> That they kept it in and uh, almost like they they marketed it as a reason to keep watching the show because I remember the very first episode they said coming up and they showed this thing happening and basically they were saying like stick around to see this um, so it didn't come 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 on until like six weeks later or whatever it's been so this week's challenge was like basically it was almost like a mini uh, Spartan race like it was a very short little mud run um, where the contestants were you know going under hurdles over things they were doing a bunch of different things but one of the parts was jumping into a mud pit and running through the mud pit now in the very first heat that they had uh one of the girls was running she actually used to be i guess a triathlon athlete she used to run marathons so obviously i'm sure she's like all right i'm gonna kill it this is my this is my moment this is my event this is time for me to go so she's doing it she goes starts the thing but then she goes to jump in the mud pit and it's she literally she snaps her ankle she breaks her ankle as she jumps into this mud pit Where's Terry? Looks like Terry has just hurt herself. What happened? What happened, team? It snapped? Uh oh. oh cool. And good on the show because they stopped everything. They made sure that she was okay. They they got her out of the mud pit. They, you know, took her to, I'm assuming, the hospital and had her looked at. Um, but I mean, that is a perfect example of why it's so dangerous to have people that aren't used to doing these things just going full steam into these types of you know events and into these types of workouts and these challenges because like it's that could ha and I'm surprised that hasn't happened sooner like these people shouldn't and like no nothing against them they are working very hard and I'm very proud of the people that are on the show that are losing weight like no shade at the people on the show at all they're not the ones that are coming up with these challenges right they're just doing what they're told and I, I really do hope that the show and the producers and the people behind the show learn from this because like it seems like it's just an ankle so hopefully she will be okay but that could have been so much worse and if we're talking about someone that is really really overweight luckily she's not like the largest person on the show but if we're talking about someone that is dangerously overweight and then they have an injury like that that could literally set someone back so far to where they just no longer feel like they can actually lose weight and that's a dangerous thing so i really do hope that the show learned from that because when i saw it like my heart just sank for the girl that it happened to so they continue moving on and then they have uh micah and jim go up against each other next. Now, Micah is the youngest person on the show, I believe, and then Jim is one of the older guys on the show. And I thought that it was interesting, and this is something that the show did that was good that I don't think they even realized. So um, Jim is an older guy. He's been overweight for a pretty good amount of time, but Micah is like 22 years old. Obviously, he hasn't been overweight that long. He, you know, he's, he's still, he's like definitely the most fit person on the show. And I thought that it was interesting that it showed like, just because two people might be around the same weight like that weight if the longer you carry it the more damage it does because jim said like he used to be a college athlete he used to be able to do all this stuff like he doesn't understand why he can't do it anymore and it shows you that the longer you're overweight the more detrimental it was and i just thought that was a very interesting thing as i was watching the episode now moving on to the next kind of portion of the show there's this part where it's almost like a therapy session and bob was actually talking about triggers and everyone kind of brought up the different triggers that they might have one person said that their mom was a trigger for them um, another person said that uh, going into the car was a trigger for them because every time they would go in the car they would think oh I need to go get some food or I need to have food with me but then Micah brought up again that it was his mom that was the trigger and what he said here I related to so much Micah says something along the lines of basically his mom was a trigger for him because when Micah was younger, his mom was addicted to drugs, and as he got older, I, I'm assuming she got clean, but then once she was clean, she just tried to give Micah what she could, and that ended up being food. Now, I can relate to this almost to a T, because if you do know my story, you know that I was also um, a, a kid of a drug addict. I was actually taken away from my mom when I was very young. Luckily, I was put back with her after about a year, but as I was growing up, my mom, and this is a conversation we've had, and she's fine with me sharing this, but she felt a lot of guilt for the mistakes that she made in the past. And she always felt like she wanted to do something to make up for it, but we didn't have any money. Like we had no money, right? 
the one thing that she could do was take us to get fast food or or have us have a little extra snack because as a kid I'm gonna want it right and she if she can provide can provide that that makes her happy because she felt like she could not provide that much while I was growing up so for her it was really really hard for her to say no because she felt like she had to say no to everything else because we couldn't afford it and we couldn't do it. So if she could say yes, a lot of times that was saying yes to certain types of food, she would do it because she felt like she had to say no to everything else. So now that happening is one of the reasons I think why I gained the weight. I don't blame my mom or anything like that, but I love that they talked about that because I'm assuming there are a lot of other people that can relate to that as well. So moving forward, like I said in my previous video, I would love if they actually focused more on nutrition and like showed us a little bit of behind the scenes of these people that are living at this house, right? Because they're at this place, they're not leaving, they're stuck where they are. So I really wish that they would show us what these people are eating, what they're doing while they're there because we're seeing like two work workouts in a whole week. I'm assuming they're doing a lot more than that. I just feel like there's so much more that they could share with the people that are watching the show to actually help them and show them the realities of what these people are going through instead of just these highly produced like workouts that they're doing and then these challenges that they're doing because it's pretty much like challenge, workout, weigh in. They might have like a therapy session in there and that's kind of the structure of the show. And it just feels like there's so much missing and they could share so much more because I know, I know that Steve and I know that Erica, I know they're very smart people. I know that they have a lot of information and I know that they probably want to share more of that. And I would, I would think that they have seen the show and they're probably like, I would think that they're like, I really wish that there's more conversation on nutrition. I really wish that we weren't focusing so much on these, on these competitions because honestly, like the more you know about weight loss and stuff, the more you realize like those, they just don't matter. <laughs> and so it's like, it's literally these competitions just feel like, look at the overweight people do things that are hard for them. And it just, every time I'm watching, I'm like, this is just, it feels wrong to me. So I really wish that they would focus more on the things that are actually helping these people lose weight. Cause I promise you these challenges that are lasting a minute or two are not the reason they are losing four to 20 pounds in a week. But again, those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section down below. I actually have to pay for these episodes now because they were free and then they stopped being free. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up off I am. Ugh. Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.